Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Melania from Nesting with Mel. And today we're doing this guy's one year update. All right, so um, I have to put my tripod up here on the counter because he wants to play with it all the time. And so um, he just likes to, he kept knocking. I, I've tried to record this video several times, what I'm trying to say. And um, this is why I didn't uh, do an 11 month update. It's just, I could not, I, I didn't, oh my God, that freaking train. Just a second. Hey Bubba, can we not play with this right now? Yeah, can we not play with this right now? That would be great. I'm gonna move this away, just in case you decide to knock it down. My cousin gave this to my son when we were in California. It's the bane of my existence. Anyways. Uh, right. Uh, so back to the one year update. Yes, Ethan is one years old. I was going to do a 11 month, but the month just kind of ran away with me. And so I decided just to skip it and go to 12 month, which is the one year update. So this week he celebrated his first birthday and, um, we kind of kept it chill because my husband was out of town and um it was just me and my daughter and him and then we had swim classes for my daughter and it was just a really long day so anyways i'll just insert a little footage of him okay. happy birthday to you happy birthday to you happy birthday dear You blow it out. Go. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here, buddy. Knock Did yourself you out. <laughs> and um, yeah, so there was that. But okay, so what's new? In the 11th, 12th month, what is new is. He is sleeping in his own room. We finally got him in his room. Um, and it's been awesome. He is sleeping through the night. Oh. Although he was sick, he had a cold last week, so he would wake up in the middle of the night and cry, and he was really congested, so I would nurse him just to comfort him, and he would go back to sleep. But um, I'm getting more big blocks of sleep now. Um, I'm still, I you know, like I'm getting six hours of sleep at night, which is amazing. I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but since the beginning of summer till now, I was averaging about four to five hours of sleep until he moved into his room, I should say. Yeah, so um, a night. I was not sleeping very well, mostly because I was sleeping late at night and then he would wake up multiple times throughout the night and keep me up and then I had a hard time going back to sleep sometimes. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, I am so sorry. If you hear a hissing, that's the Instapot. <laughs> I'm making taco soup and um, it's venting, but it's going to stop venting here pretty soon, I think the little seal thing's gonna pop. Come on. Finally! I have some nature relaxation in the background um, to keep the little guy entertained. He likes to watch the little fishies and stuff on the screen. Anyways, okay, focus. Back to the one year um, update. So he's sleeping in his own room and it worked out really great. So a few weeks ago I went um, out, uh, I went for a weekend away if you saw my last postpartum vlog. 
and um, it was a really nice weekend and my mother-in-law came and stayed with my husband and the kids and he slept through the night and then the last night that she was here she he slept in her room um, and he slept through the night and so then she left and I just because um, she was sleeping in, we have a bed in his room too, so she was sleeping in there and, and he was sleeping in the pack and play. And so I've been, um, I just kept him in the room by himself and I moved the video monitor there so I can see him. And then I have the Owlette sock, which really gives me a huge peace of mind. And it's working out so nicely. Um, I absolutely love... Um, you know, with my daughter, I was so paranoid about her sleeping in another room um, in, until she was, I mean, she was like two and a half or a little over two uh, years old when um, she finally moved into her own room and I was up, like, I don't know, I just was really paranoid. Um, this time around, nothing, but also it also helps me, um, I mean, I do have, you know, I worry, but I have the monitor so I can see him. I'll wake up in the middle of the night and I'll turn the screen on and see him and then I'll turn it off so it's not right in my room and then I go back to sleep. Um, and also I have um, a uh, <clears throat> the Owlette sock too. So I know he's breathing and all that stuff. And so, yeah, he's been sleeping so good and I just, oh my God, it's been life changing having my room back. I don't have to tiptoe around. And he's getting better sleep and he's less fussy and he is just... It's working so well. So I'm very grateful that we're finally at the stage of sleeping through the night. Um, the other thing that's new is he started daycare. So about a month ago, he started daycare and it is working very well, except for every other week he's sick because germs and babies and, you know, kids are petri dishes. So he's been really sick. Like, cold fever um and you know right now there's a cold virus going around too so you know he was sick and then he gave it to me and then i gave it back to him and he's finally he's better now he just has a runny nose and a little bit of a cough but um yeah he had he was so congested for like days and days and you know um there's a few things that I've been using that have really helped for his cold. I've been using the Highlands um, baby tablets. Uh, it's not going to focus. Yeah, anyways, um, the Highlands uh, tiny cold tablets. It really helps kind of keep knock down the fussiness. I use the night ones at night, and he sleeps pretty good. And then um, I started giving him some immune... Anyways, it's just vitamins, um, the elderberry is the more th important thing, and it seems to kind of help him when he does get sick. I give him that, and then I also have vitamin C drops, and between the three things, um, a couple days maybe, and then he gets better, um, and then he can go back to school. So, um, I mean, with my daughter, when she went to daycare, it was like every other week she was homesick that first year. And then she'd hardly ever get sick anymore since then. So I kind of was expecting that, you know, he's just building his immunity. You know, for the last year, he's been at home with just us and pandemic. So the only other people he's been around is his grandparents and occasionally my friends who are vaccinated. But because of the pandemic, if anyone's sick, nobody hangs out, you know, or even slightly sick or, you know, there's the whole social distancing and all that stuff. So... We haven't really been sick, but um, yeah, it's, so that's kind of a bummer, but, but daycare has been really good for him. Like he comes home, he is like, so happy. He is loving um, his teachers and the other kids and exploring. The lovely part is the daycare he's at um, feeds them. So I don't have to pack lunches. I just pack a couple bottles for him of formula and it's just really great um he 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 loves it it's he's very happy like he fusses a little bit when i drop him off because of like the separation anxiety that kids go through but then he's fine and um when i bring him home 
Oh, oh. Yeah, so he's he has a runny nose again. So I've been trying to do saline drops and um, I've been diffusing eucalyptus oil in his room. And then, um, that's, that's not a toy. That's not a toy. You want to play with that? No, you can't play with that, but you can play with this. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. Do you want to play with this thing? Play with that? No? Play with that? Yeah. We play with that. Sorry about that. This is why I have a hard time recording these videos because he is so very involved and active and into everything. And it's great. This is, you know, this is the stage of life. They're discovering things. They're growing. And um, <clears throat> so developmentally, he's not walking it, but he's very close. I got him a little push toy from the consignment sale and he will push it around. He'll take the laundry basket and push it around the house um, or the chair, like the kitchen chair. He'll push a kitchen chair around. Um, so he's getting close. A couple of times I've noticed him, like he'll be standing up watching the TV or watching us and then he'll let go of whatever he's holding onto and clap his hands and he's standing without holding onto anything. So that's really cool. Um, so I know it's very soon. He's going to be, he's going to be everywhere <laughs> very soon. And he's getting taller so he can like reach for stuff. So we have to like, we can't leave things on the edge of like the table and can't quite get to the counters yet. But um, like on the couch, we have, we can't just like the remotes, we can't leave them around because he loves to play with the remotes. So, um, yeah, so. <clears throat> Trying to think what else is new. What else is new with you, buddy? He's eating constantly. Like, he is like a vacuum. <laughs> He'll eat a whole banana now and Cheerios and yogurt for one meal. Um, he loves quesadillas. Those are his favorite. He loves grilled cheese sandwich, pretty much anything with cheese. He's a little cheese monster. And um, loves berries and fruit. Um, and yogurt. That Those are his favorite foods. He'll pretty much eat almost anything I give him. Although, oh, he usually eats everything I give him. But lately, like in the last three or four days, he's learned to spit things out. So even though if he really wants it, now he knows he can just spit it out. So I'll give him something and then he'll just spit it out. Or he'll put something in his mouth and then spit it right out. Even though it's something that he likes and he'll eat. It's really annoying. <laughs> and he's learned to throw things off the tray of his high chair. So that's real fun. Um, and I always have to go and make sure I clean off the floor because he'll go and eat it later off the floor. So yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, so that's about it. I can't believe a whole year went by. Um, he is just such a fun little boy. I'm absolutely in love with this kid. He is so much fun. I'm so glad we have him and he's part of our family. And, um, you know, his first year was a crazy year. We moved to a new house. Um, We've been doing a whole bunch of home renovations. Um, he went, you know, we, his grandfather moved in with us. We were taking care of his grandfather. Then his grandfather passed away. Um, we got to go on a trip to California. Um, he's spent a lot of quality time with grandparents um, because I didn't have him in childcare for till now. Um, yeah. He's had a really eventful year, um, and I look forward. This is like, so I, I'm going to be honest. The infant stage is not my favorite stage. Once kids can, like, interact with you and start, like, talking and, oh, dear, hang on. 
Yeah. <laughs> you are. Oh, it's you. These two. You want to play with this? Yeah. No, you're going to just throw it on the ground. Okay. See, look at the camera. Hi. Can you can you wave? Can you wave? Ethan, can you wave? Can you <laughs> no, no, you're not gonna wave. Okay. Alright. Oh, now you're gonna wave. Alright. Um, he sees stuff on the counter because my counter is full of crap and he wants to play with it. So I'm gonna wrap this up. But anyways, thank you so much for watching and following his first year. Um, I will continue um giving more updates, but I'm going to do it like every other month now. Um, and just because, oh, you want your train. Yeah. See that face? Look at that face. Yeah. Anyways, I will uh, see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.